we're learning not only about great tea, but we're learning about the way you drink it with the yeah, pinky up. Yeah, the pinky. Yes. Actually, we should have a train yes. of coffee. Sophie no, in the kitchen with the... Yeah. Uh, uh, Christina, I'm, I'm a, hello. <laughs> it's me, no, hello. Well, of with course uh, we know it's you. Okay. But I was never a big tea drinker, but really? I think because of you, you've had some influence on me, and this is phenomenal. It is. Yeah. All right, really so we're going delicious. to learn about the different ways of teas and how it's, it's, it's rather confusing. I love tea when I go home. I watch it at night when I'm all snuggled with my doggies and all. So I love tea. Yes. But I also like the, the teas that are available in leaf form. Yes. But I, I don't know how to drink okay. it so it doesn't, uh, so it has, it, it steeps enough mm -hmm. and I don't get tea leaves in my mouth. Aha. Uh -huh. So I need mm. your help. Christina, we all do. let me help you. All let right. me enlighten you a little bit. Okay. So. All tea, did you know this, Mark and Christina? Yeah. That all tea, whether it's green, white, oolong, or black, comes from the same plant. No, how is yeah, that possible? It, it comes from the same plant, and the plant uh, is called the Camellia sinensis plant. Okay. And what differs the, the original, tea, the, the, the different teas, is what happens to the little leaf after it's picked. All right. Oh. So this is the same leaf. It's all the same leaf. So, right. so a useful way to think of this is, if you think about, um, how you take a bite out of an apple, mm -hmm. and immediately it begins to oxidize. It yes. goes yeah. brown, all right? Same thing with a tea leaf. So you pick it, and it starts to oxidize. Now, what differs all these different teas is how the oxidization process is halted all right all right so if at home you like a green tea a green tea as soon as the leaf is picked in Japan it's steamed it's lightly steamed and this stops it oxidizing and it gives it this beautiful green color it's very very full of um, an antioxidant called polyphenols mm. so it's extremely good for your health low in caffeine yes mm -hmm. do you like the taste I, I do like I love oh, wait, green tea I, yes. I have a question. so if it's from the same plant wouldn't they all have the same flavor no. What are you, Flavor Flav? What is that? <laughs> Where's your Flavor. clock around Flavor. your neck? Flavor. Mark, yeah. Flavor. Do, Mark, Flavor. I have a question for you, Mark. Yes. Oh. All right, so wine comes from grapes. Do all wines have the same flavor? No, but they're different grapes, honey. Very well, these yeah. are different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's too about wine. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie, let's, well, let's, bring let's, it let's just bring I, it all not... back from the family. Yeah. We're going to talk. So, um, okay. Right, so we talked about green tea, yes. all right? Now, White tea is the same, and also white tea uh, is very, very high uh, for those of you at home and enjoy, want to get these antioxidants, very, very high in these wonderful polyphenols. Um, then we go on, how do you like that? It, it's not as strong or as potent as this. It still has the essence of the green tea, yes. but it's a little lighter, and um, I think it's a little airier. Yes, it is, isn't yes. it? Yes, it yeah. is. Then we go to an oolong tea. So this is this is oxidized even further. And is that what we're drinking? It's sweet. No, you've got a herbal one. Okay. So so the, the oh, this one I love. It's a more oolong. It, oolong. Oh, I love it. Has it. a very robust flavor. It's nice and strong, um, and it's oxidized more. And then finally, the one that probably at home you're most used to drinking could be the black tea. Yeah. This one here is blended with Tahitian vanilla. It's an Earl Grey. Oh, oh I love this. This is I my favorite. Like oh my gosh, this is lovely. And, and like that's heavy down. oxidized. So what, and, and this last one real quickly is? Well, this is, this is actually not, uh, this is a herbal tea. Now, strictly, um, a herbal tea is not a tea. It's a tisane or an infusion. It's, it tastes different? like medicine, but good. Oh, it's so good. And this one medicine. is called Herbal Sunset. It's by Zen Tea Traders. It is so beautiful. It is lovely. What is the best way to brew these teas to get the maximum potent flavor from them? Okay, so what's very, very important to, for you at home when you're brewing the perfect cup of tea, it's very important the water temperature. Okay. Okay. So, um, if I could, can I just grab my Is little that the tea water cannon? temperature yes. during serving or during the brewing process? It's brewing. Okay. So right here, this is my tea kettle from home. And as you can see here, it's got preset temperatures on it for the different teas. Well, um, what if you don't have that at home? Yeah. Toby? Very good point. I just bought this in to show you that each tea requires a different temperature. So green tea is a very low temperature. Mm -hmm. um, and then oolong a little bit more and black is a rolling boil. If you don't have one of these at home, then just for like a green 
green tea, take your water off the boil for about five or 10 minutes. A little bit uh, longer for the, the, you know, take it off the mm -hmm. boil longer for pale teas, full rolling boil for a dark tea. But, but for actual temperatures, go to the Home and Family website because we've got all the oh. exact temperatures. And how long should they steep for? Brilliant question because that's very important. Oh, don't tell her that. Don't that don't makes me oh, okay. Now there's no so, living so with the, her. I the know. steeping time is terribly important because green tea is literally, and for you at home, if you're getting loose leaf green tea, it's literally a minute. All right. Any longer and the tea becomes bitter. Mm. Then oolong, it'll be three or four minutes. And then for a nice black tea, you're going to steep it for four or five minutes. And, and Sophie, I know the Brits are very serious about their tea drinking. I lived yes. in London. Trust me, they're serious about their tea. You never, ever, and um, microwave your water for the tea, correct? Oh, no, mm. you don't. Right. I and in do fact, that. no, you don't uh -oh. because because the water uh -oh. is very We're important. You want very oxy oxygenated yeah. water. So rolling boil, fresh filtered water in your tea kettle every morning. And if it's filtered, it removes the chlorine, which can also sort of interfere with the taste of the right. tea. And herbal teas is the same, Never. the herbal? Herbal teas herbal. require boiling water to really draw out the, the um, health benefits. So and these teas here, this beautiful tea chest, mm. All these teas today uh, were brought to us by Zen Tea Traders, which are very good. Again, you really want to consider the quality of your tea. That's mm -hmm. very important. Lovely. For uh, this can uh, be found uh, on your website uh, too, right? On yes, our website, absolutely. you can go to Sophie's website, which is sophieuliano.com. Can I, I uh, take ten seconds to ask? Because I didn't know. How do you? Because I only know about tea in a bag. Do you have to? How do you? Steep do you oh, steep this is a great idea. So, so loose, tea, very yeah. loose tea is better quality you than tea bags. Oh, okay. Hands down. Okay. And this you'll steep in a little tea steeper or I might show you a little bit later how to do it to make your own little tea bag.